You say you're trying to eat less meat? Faith Saley knows just the place. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> When you step inside this Atlanta-based restaurant, What's up, sluts? the greeting might catch you off guard. Hey, sluts. Hi, sluts. Hey. What's yeah, up? you'll hear that word a lot. When people come here and they don't quite get it, how do you explain it to them? They know that we're going to call you a slut. And by slut, I mean it's a term of endearment, right? I mean that in the most respectful way. We got the biggest slut, K. They know that we are going to have a party with you, dance with you. So when they get here, they're not necessarily just coming for the food. They're coming for the experience. Boss Rocky, get a picture. Please. Absolutely. 35-year-old Pinky Cole is the founder of the plant-based fast food chain Slutty Vegan, which she started in 2018. I've merged the two most pleasurable experiences in life, and that's sex and that's food. Yeah. But then once you start peeling back the layer, you realize there is a pure intention and a mission driven movement behind it all. That mission, she says, is to change the conversation around vegan food by making what she calls vegan comfort food more mainstream and accessible. One, you're saving the, the planet, right? You're helping the carbon footprint. You're saving the animals. This is the first step to changing your consciousness about the food that you consume. Is this like a gateway into veganism? It really challenges the narrative that you cannot have good vegan food, Yeah. right? Like, yes, you can. While 5% of the U.S. population is either vegan or vegetarian, Pinky hopes that her signature burgers with racy names like menage a trois and one night stand will win over meat eaters who currently make up about 70% of her customers. You cannot believe that it's vegan, that it's plant-based. You no, no, talk, no, you can't you eat keep all talking. Of, okay, so eat one more bite and then we got to go to the next because you got to taste everything. But the taste of success came with a side of uncertainty back when she was Aisha Cole growing up in Baltimore. The day that I was born, my father was sentenced to 30 years in prison. By society standards, I'm not supposed to be here. I grew up in a single parent household. I got kicked out of high school. Like, I am not supposed to be what you see. Her new book chronicles her improbable rise, how her first restaurant burned down and she had to start from scratch in a food truck. But her luck changed when that food truck fed a famous customer and created a viral sensation. And we went and fed Snoop Dogg and the rest was history. <laughs> Last month, she served up some hard-earned wisdom at her alma mater, Clark Atlanta University. It is okay to fail because failing is not failing at all. It's finding the aspiration and the losses. Got it? Where she'd previously paid off the tuition debt of 30 students. I am now becoming the person that is giving opportunity instead of begging for one. You know, and to be able to say that is big. This fall, she made the Time 100 Next list. By her side is husband Derek Hayes, who happens to be the founder and CEO of Big Dave's Cheese Steaks. The irony, right? Like, these two things aren't supposed to go together. But that's what's good about it, because we show you from two different lenses, two different outlooks of the way we do food, and I think that's what makes it magical. And she recently brought that magic to Baltimore, her hometown, to announce a new restaurant, her 14th and counting. Are there any doctors in the audience? <laughs> Just in case I go into labor. Pinky Cole says she lives by the motto, lift as you climb. And she's doing just that, one sloppy bite at a time. You like that one night stand? <laughs> I'm aligned with my purpose when I'm eating. You're aligned with your purpose. No, I like them all because the shrimp in that one.